It's Blake Swan from University Orthopedics, Departments of Sports Performance and Wellness. Today, we're going to go over ACL injury prevention programming. So here at UOA, we like to work on programs to help our athletes stay healthy and prevent injury in the future. The ACL injury is a very devastating injury, which has some easy ways that we can incorporate prevention into your warm-up program and before you get started on field practice. Some of the key components that we are concerned with here are our proprioceptive awareness, our leg strength, our mobility of the ankle and hip and stability of the knee, and making sure that we have proper mechanics with essential movements, including linear motion such as sprinting, our lateral motion such as shuffling, and our change of direction. So today we're going to get started with the PET program, which stands for Prevent Injury and Enhance Performance. Now this program can be incorporated into a warm-up before you begin play and involves the simple jog, shuffle, and back pedal to start warming up the knee in multiple planes of motion. So the keys to remember when we begin our warm-up is to include the jog. So nice and easy, we're not getting to max speed, we're going over our leg cycle and we're stopping with a three step stop. Okay. With the back pedal, you want to make sure that you keep your chest over your toes so you don't lean too far backwards. With the shuffle, the primary keys are keeping a steady, level head and not bouncing up and down. Also, you want your toes pointed forward and you don't want your feet to touch. You want to engage your shuffle with a push-pull mechanic. The lead foot moves to the side and the trail foot pulls in behind. So push and pull. To our strength and range of motion exercise with the lunge to an RDL. Now, both of these mo movements are crucial to sport. So the key here is not only are we strengthening, but then to take that strength and to stabilize it with a little bit of balance challenge, which you'll see in the transition from the lunge to the RDL motion. For the RDL, or the Romanian deadlift, the key here is that you want to keep the heel, again, flat, with the knee slightly bent. This way, we're not adding too much stress to the hamstring because it's going to be a much more intensive movement and now we're getting into a flexibility issue. So soft knees, heel stays flat, and you lead the motion with the back foot, tilting the torso, the ground and that your knee does not travel beyond the toe. Now you can keep the 90 and 90 angle or if you want to go for a deeper lunge you can do so as long as you're able to maintain that position of the knee not extending beyond the toe. The last component of this mobility and strengthening portion of the program would be the calf raise. Now, the calf raise will activate, of course, the calves. So after we engage our quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes, we we'll begin to engage the calves, which the ankle uh, mobility will complete the triple extension motion of running.
doesn't matter if you have your foot behind or in front. On this range of motion and strengthening portion, we're going to get into more of the dynamic components of the program, which include our hops and our jump landing technique. Now this portion includes plyometric activities, so it's important that we progress them appropriately.